Hello everybody. So we are here to witness one of the best things that we have on the app, and that is the calculations area. The calculation drills. Okay, the calculation drills. So what we'll be doing is we'll be solving a few questions directly from the app. Uh, not a few, but a lot of them. And uh, I'll tell you how it actually works. I'll be solving it right over here and uh, putting in the input as well. Uh, when I say input, I mean to say that I'll be putting in the correct options and you'll see how the app turns out to be and you'll really like it. You'll completely get hooked. Okay. That's my promise. So I click on the one PYQ icon. Okay. They start to tremble because they know they're going to witness good things. Then I click on the one PYQ logo, which is over here at the bottom. Then I click on this center button which says calculation drills. Once I'm there, I can pick up anything, all the options I have over here. So what I do here is let's start with table drills. Let's do only plus drills for now because that is easier for everybody. And I really want you to get a feel of it. Also, I want you to understand how a few things can be done in a very quick manner. Okay, how a few things can be done in a very quick manner. So let's start with the simple plus. Okay, so here we go. 31 plus 4, 35. We are good to go. As soon as you get the correct answer, there is going to be a very small flash of green light over here. There's going to be a very small flash of green light over here. And it is quickly going to move to the next question without wasting any time. So 31 plus 4 is 35. See, the green flash is gone. 37 plus 4 is 41. Moving on, 91 plus 2 is 93. Moving on, 66 plus 3 is 69. Moving on, 92 plus 7 is 99. Moving on, 20 plus 3 is 23. Moving on, 57 plus 9 is 66. Good. 83 plus 9 is 92. Yeah. Good. 42 plus 7 is 49. And we have almost run out of time. Okay. We've all, almost run out of time. And if you do a question repeatedly wrong, see, we took 10 questions. We got all of them correct. If at all you get a question wrong, okay, so it gives you two chances. It gives you two chances to correct yourself. It gives you two chances to correct yourself. Once you've done, you, you've already taken those chances, then it is going to flash the correct answer. Okay, it would flash the correct answer. And once it flashes the correct answer, it's going to take you to the next question automatically. Okay, you have the option of restarting the game. You have the option of going back to home. Okay. You can increase the time as well. You can increase the time as well by instead of choosing time, you can go for number of tasks, how many questions you wish to practice. You can also practice infinitely. Okay. The you can solve the task without any limits and you can go till infinity. So I think it will be good if we all come together and solve it in a infinite in the infinite mode. Okay. Let's go. 14 plus 7 is 21. Repeat after me. 52 plus 3 is 55. Repeat after me. 73 plus 5 is 78. Going good. 16 plus 8 is 24. Going good. 30 plus 4 is 34. Good again. 93 plus 10 is 103. Good. 96 plus 3 is 99. 10 plus 8 is 18. And 83 plus 2 is 85. This is good for the exam. The reason is that uh, in the examination, you would need to calculate things very, very quickly. And on the app, when you do it on your cell phone, this is nothing but a projection of my cell phone. Okay. This is the projection of my smartphone, which you see over here on the left hand side. And through this projection, you will be able to do quick calculations. Okay. So this is again 76, 26 plus 11 is 37 and 10 plus 5 is 15. I have deliberately chosen the easy calculations because I want all of you to first learn how things work over here. Okay. This is 60, 55 plus 8 is 63, 93 plus 9 is 102, 83 plus 2 is 85, and the list goes on. Okay. You can do as many questions as you want to do. So I would recommend that you do around 100 or 150 questions of the easy side first. Okay. Just to get a hang of the app, just to warm up. So this is nothing but a more of a warm up session. Okay. This is a warm up session where you do all the easy questions first you do all the easy questions first see 
my pen isn't stopping i really want to do more and more questions because i feel that i know and the answer to all of them so once you're tired of doing this once you're completely tired of doing this then i would recommend you to go to switch to a higher level okay 63 plus 11 is 74 okay i think i'm pretty tired now and i would be happy to go to the next question see it is so enticing that the next question you definitely know so it doesn't really doesn't really let you go back see how good you feel over here i really feel amazing about it that i'm able to do all the easy questions okay i'm sure most of the people would love to stay here but i would recommend that please level up and go to the next level okay we did 42 questions and we took two and a half what um two minutes and 24 seconds and uh, we took a lot of our speed was, was pretty good 0 0.3 tasks per minute so that means around 18 seconds per question um that's a lot of time actually but yeah it should go down okay it should go down mm, let's go go back to home yeah so we did the tables drill we chose what we really wanted to do you can do the same with multiplication let's assume that you want to learn what happens when you multiply things with five so you can do this by starting off here five eights are 40 so this is 400 400 plus 15 is 415 so every time you're multiplying with five okay i'll give you i'll give you a technique over here there are times when people don't really understand how easy it gets when you multiply things with five so whenever you're multiplying things with five and you feel that no this is not good this is not something which i can do very quickly so you can do a very simple trick this is a simple hack i don't recommend this hack but i still would love to tell you about it only and only because there might be people who would be afraid of this hack who might be afraid of multiplying with five as well so you can multiply by two and divide by two forget this because this is gonna become 10 okay forget this because this is gonna become 10 and 2 you can now cancel out 2 and this is 2 4 is a 8 2 8 is a 16 so my final answer comes out to be 480 right my final answer comes out to be 480 so this is something which i want you to look forward to okay so again multiplication and that too in infinite terms doing it again 7 5 is a 35 and 30 35 is basically 350 350 plus 5 is 355 moving forward 59 into 5 59 i'm gonna write it here 59 into 5 so when we do it if we do 59 into 6 uh, or 60 into 5 it's gonna be 300 right so 300 minus 5 is gonna be 295 so that's my answer 25 into 5 is nothing but 125 another 99 into 5 or 100 into 5 is going to be 500 minus 5 is going to be 495 i hope you're able to understand where i'm coming from right i hope you're able to understand where i'm coming from 55 into 5 is going to be 275 um 33 into 5 is going to be 165 and 37 into 5 is going to be 150 plus 35 that's going to be 185 okay you can break things apart like 52 into into 5 you can break it down into 50 multiplied by 5 plus 2 into 2 into 5 so 25 is simply 10 and 5 into 50 is going to be 250 okay so 250 250 plus 10 is nothing but 260 so i'm gonna do it very very quickly okay 67 into 5 again we've done this this is going to be 335 yeah 335 okay 59 into 5 we've already done this i'm going to pause it and i'm going to go home go to the home button and now choose something else mm, what shall we do now shall we add two digit numbers i think yes this is pretty feasible see we've been adding two digit numbers in the correct fashion in the correct way since a very very long time and what that what does that correct way mean that correct way means that 57 plus 
26 is going to be 7 plus 6 is going to be 13. I'm going to carry 1, 5, 6, 7, and 8, 83. This is the very conventional method that we've been learning since school times. So I am going to optimize this method for you now. Okay. I'm going to optimize this method for you today. And what does the optimization say? The optimization technique is very simple. You have two ways of optimizing it. You can either stick to the basics, do a 57 and 26, quickly do 6 plus 7 is 13, the 3 comes here. The 1 goes to the carry but stays in your mind. So 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 83. Okay. In this fashion, you will save one second of time. And there is another fashion which is the way I really want to do it. And here you can save three seconds of time. Okay, three or maybe two seconds of time. And how do you save that? 57 plus 26. Here I have 57 plus 26. And see how I save my time now. I don't go the conventional way of going from the ones digit to the tens digit and then to the hundreds digit. I directly add things up. 5 plus 2 is 7. And 70 plus 13 is 83. Simple. Okay, 5 plus 2 is 7. And I, I quietly juxtapose, I quietly juxtapose or I quietly append the digit 0 at the end and say 5 plus 2 is 7. And 70 plus 13, I quickly do 7 plus 6, which is 13. 70 plus 13 is equal to 83. Is equal to 83. So see how well it works. You must be you must be wondering that no, this is not the right way. It's better that we do the longer way. See, it's completely fine. It all depends on you. You are anyways going to take somewhere around three seconds to seven seconds to solve this. Okay. If you put on a clock, you'll know that you'll be able to, you'll definitely be able to do it in seven or maybe ten seconds. But trust me, you can easily save three seconds by solving it my way okay so try to do this that you directly add up the tens digit put and put a zero at the end directly add up the tens digit put a zero at the end and then add the ones digit and quickly do the addition in your mind there is no tension of carrying in your brain anymore okay you need not carry a lot of burden you need not carry that one digit which you usually carry forward okay so optimization means that if you can cut off like just one kg weight and that makes all the difference in races that's how things work okay and in uh, even wrestling competitions that how that's how things work that people can even lose because of 100 kg of extra weight so try to imagine how things work okay now let's move forward so 57 plus um 57 plus 26 that's 83. Okay. Doing it 83. 40 plus 10 is 50. Now 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 11 is 111. Okay. 91 plus 91, it's 182. Right. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 10 is 14. So 140. 130 plus 10 is 4. 8 plus 6 is 14. 140 plus 7 is 147. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 7 or 70 plus 7 is 77, 8 plus 1 is 9 and 90 plus 14 is 104. See how quickly things go. This is uh, 6 plus 4 is 10 and 100 plus 15 is 115, 6 plus 3 is 9 and 9 plus 9 is 99 or 99, okay, 90 plus 9 is 99, 6 plus 3 is 9 and 9, 90 plus 12 is 102. 3 plus 7 is 10 and 10 plus 7 is or 100 plus 7 is 107. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 10 is 150. 9 plus 4 is 13 and 13 plus 2 or 130 plus 2 is 132. 7 plus 5 is 12 and 12 plus 14. 12 plus 14 is 134. 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 plus 10 is 150. 3 plus 2 is 5. 50 plus 14 is 64. Okay, we were able to do 16 questions in 5 minutes. Okay, There's, it took me a lot of time to explain you the concept or the shortcut. If you'd like to do it one more time, 
I think we must give it a shot. Okay, I think we must give it a shot. 61 plus 20 is nothing but 81. 68 plus, uh, okay, 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 or 130 plus 12 is 142. Okay, 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 154. 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 66. Okay, when I say 6 plus 6, remember, I'm saying 60 plus 6. Okay, I'm saying 60 plus 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. 50 plus 16 is 66. 3 plus 4 is 7. 70 plus 13 is 83. 7 plus 9 is 16. 16 plus or 160 plus 16 is 176. Okay, 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 60 plus 12 is 72. See, we were able to do 8 questions in less than 1 minute. That means our speed is coming out to somewhere somewhere we were able to do eight questions in 50 seconds so roundabout we were doing it in six seconds in that too live so understand how well or how speedy your calculations can become if you follow this method of of catching up with the tens digit first and then thinking about the ones digit right moving back Let's do something else. Let's do a little bit of square roots. I have a very cool method of squares first. I would like to give you that. Okay, I have a very cool method of squares first. So first of all, you must know what the square of 46 is. But if you don't know, if you don't know, then you have to write 46 like this. The square of 6 is 36. The square of 4 is 16. And 4 6 are 24. 24 twos are 48. And a zero at the end makes it 480. This would become six. This would become one. And this would become two, one, one, six. Good enough. Doing the same thing with 94. The square of four is zero four uh, is 16, right? The square of four is 16. The square of nine is 81. Nine four is a 36. 36 two is a 72. 72 and a zero at the end. 720. This comes out to be 6. This is 3. This is 6. This is 3. This is 8. This is 8. So, double 8, 3, 6 is the answer that I'm looking for. Talking about 66, the square of 6 is, we can, we can split it apart. The square of 6 is 36 and the square of 11 is 121. Hmm. Now, this is, this has become actually a little tricky. Okay, this is becoming actually a little tricky. I would leave this up to you that you do this and report back on the comment section of how did you really like it. Alright, till then, please enjoy it and let us know what you feel about it.